a disturbing and violent game seems to have made its way to the Brooklyn neighborhood of Crown Heights in recent weeks. The game is called Knockout, and the target has been Orthodox Jews. The idea behind the game of Knockout is to hit an unsuspecting person in a public place, sometimes filming the attack and posting it on the Internet. In some cases, the goal is to knock the victim out with one punch. In the Crown Heights neighborhood of Brooklyn, which is predominantly African-American but with a sizable Hasidic Jewish minority, there have been at least eight attacks in recent weeks. These attacks appear to be racially motivated. They've all been black men, black young teens, um, and the victims have all in Crown Heights and in Midwood been members of the Orthodox community. And so it seems that they're singling out individuals, and so there appears to be a biased nature to all of this. Crown Heights has a history of racial tension between its African-American and Jewish residents. The notorious Crown Heights riots of 1991 lasted three days and left one dead and many others injured. However, the situation has improved dramatically since then. Today, the community as a whole, we get along with our Caribbean-American, African-American neighbors. We have a great relationship. We work together. And I, feel, I, I believe that these attacks are isolated incidents of anti-Semitism. Community leaders have called for a heightened police presence and awareness of the situation. I believe once there's an arrest and once some of these kids realize there's, there's going to be severe consequences for what they're doing, it's going to stop. This is being perceived as a hate crime in the city of New York and how uh, under uh, our criminal statutes, hate crimes are taken very serious and there's heightened awareness and a heightened um, uh, prosecution uh, and a heightened sentence for these types of crimes. The motivation for the crimes in Crown Heights and elsewhere is difficult to understand. In many cases, it appears to be simply boredom or a desire for acceptance or respect from peers. We need to talk about these issues in our schools, in our churches, on our blocks, um, on basketball courts, barbershops, wherever um, individuals are gathered. But in Crown Heights so far, thank God, the injuries have been minor. And the kids who are doing these attacks are not hardcore gangbanger criminals. So I believe if we stop them now and we, and we put an end to it, you know, some of these kids could be real leaders in the future. They just have to be taught. In fact, community leaders hope that these incidents could bring the two communities closer together. It's really critically important that people understand that this only represents a small percentage of um, individuals in the black community and individuals obviously who have no sense of humanity and who have no sense of the shared history with the uh, black community and the Jewish community. The attacks in Crown Heights have so far not been at the level of violence that we've seen in other cities, which in some cases have left people in the emergency room and in one case left a man dead. However, everyone involved would like them to stop quickly before it gets any worse. This is Ira Spitzer for JN1 in New York.